This is BMAT 2021, section 1, question 28. So here we have a flag which looks like it's got an arrow on it. Um, the top half of the flag has this grey isosceles triangle and the bottom half is divided into three equal rectangles with the centre one shaded grey. And we have to work out what's the ratio of white to grey in this flag. So here is our picture. What I'm going to do is, first of all, divide this into two. So we have the top half and the bottom half. And let's see if we can work these out um, separately. So I'm going to start with the bottom half because um, this one's easier. And then let's just assign some values to see if we can work out um, the areas. So if I say that each of these um, sides, they're all the same because it's equal rectangles. All of these are going to be X. And let's say our height here is Y. That means the um, the amount of um, grey in our flag is going to be xy because we've got one rectangle shaded and our num amount of white is going to be 2xy because we have two of our rectangles. So that's for the bottom. Now let's look at the top. We have um, a big isosceles triangle here. How could we figure out solving um, the proportions of area? I'm actually going to slip this in half. Um, so let's draw a little line down the middle. We can see now that we've got um, two right angled triangles. And this is going to be the same if we put these together as just one whole square. So let's just work out um, what the area of this um, square or rectangle is going to be. And that will give us our shaded area. So let's use um, the um, values we've got at the bottom to work out the lengths here. We know that our size is going to be the same. It's going to be a Y because we split this in half. Um, and this length here is going to be the equivalent of x plus a half, so one and a half x. Therefore, if we take this um, rectangle as our full shaded area, so I've just essentially move that triangle to here, um, we're going to have 3 uh, over 2xy as being grey, and the same 3 over 2xy for being white. So now we can find the ratio of white to grey. We've just got to add um, our greys and our whites together. So that is going to be 2xy plus 3 over 2xy um, to xy plus 3 over 2xy. I'm just going to times everything by 2 to get rid of these fractions. So that's 4xy plus 3xy um, to 2xy plus 3xy or 7xy to 5xy, which gives us a ratio of 7 to 5. So that's our ratio. And our final answer is D.